Hey guys, Shrunks here back with another brand new video and in today's video I'll be showcasing you guys the ultimate beginner's guide for Ace Racer um, And I know the title or the thumbnail might be clickbait as right now you, you guys can tell I am currently 27th in the leaderboards But uh, I am still one of the top players and was the first to reach elite expert and master rank uh, And now I'm kind of hard second king rank, but also there's not a lot of people online um, when I am on with that being said, let's move right into the first tip that I have for you guys. Now, the first very first tip is you need to upgrade your cars um, and your essentially your proficiency level. And that's how you are able to unlock a lot of other things. So this is basically where your proficiency level will be at for certain vehicles, as you guys can see. And so each vehicle um, is maxed out at level 20. Once you hit 20, you can go and move on to a different vehicle. And that's how you can kind of unlock uh, on this uh, path here. This is kind of like a little battle pass as well. Um, but if you get the, the private program, you're able to get your chat bubble, a gold name, uh, and just a lot of benefits there as well. Um, now, it, it is, you know, it, again, free to play. You're not, you're not obligated to buy it. And of course, the handbook is the next thing as well. Handbook is really, really beneficial. You get a lot of, a lot of goodies out of here um, when you do the missions and... Um, and quests that they have here as you guys can see if you keep doing them you can even get a, a ton and a ton of ecu uh chips or packs as well so make sure you guys do them uh this is really really handy um and there is memberships as well so this is just a lot of the weekly missions here that you guys can do for the battle pass and uh yeah and of course this is your daily missions tab here um just doing you know whatever it says here on here and just maxing it out um and finishing it for your daily grind um moving on we have the uh, battle pass here as you can see battle pass the missions are here um the rewards are here the max level is 300 for the pass now the pass is of course free to play i mean you're able to just play the game and get the pass and level up as well but of course the speed progress and whatnot you can essentially buy levels as well with tokens um and so of course i have i already have it maxed out here and the main the main car right now is the catalyst so that's the main reward you get some blueprints along with some uh some ecu and stuff like that so uh yeah with that being said let's move right on to the store um the store you guys can see there is the limited time excalibur um gotcha here so this is the limited vehicle um but also some fashion outfits as well um and then moving on we have the supply chest supply chest comes in very handy for you to um get all, all these vehicles and a lot of the ecus as well um so right now if you guys are really needing blueprints blueprints is a big big thing in car upgrades so if you tap on the supply chest here this is basically some with fragments little you know duplicates things or every time you open a box that's that's where you get this green thing here i'm um, unsure what it's called but here you go you guys can see all the blueprints here and how much you need for each blueprint um and of course you can get some ec users as well and along with two vehicles here as well and this countdown is eight days so once the eight days hit they probably they will probably be rotating to a different uh different vehicle um and then of course the discount uh this is essentially the discount shop and I will be showcasing you guys what you need to buy um, if you are going to be, you know, spending money in the game. Um, what I recommend you guys getting is definitely some of the universal parts. Now, you can get that from a lot of other things um, from, you know, the supply chest and whatnot. Uh, so that's not really needed if you don't want to waste 800 tokens, which is a lot. Um, now, the best thing you can get is the ECU uh, pack here as well. Uh, of course, it's random, but, you know, having a purple ECU is really needed um, in the long run to make your car go very fast. Um, and you can also get this as well. I mean, it's, it's only cost gift cards um, and not tokens. What I recommend is for the rank protection card. If you are really grinding and a competitive player uh, in Ace Racer, definitely get the rank protection um, because you'll need that in case you don't want to lose any points. Uh, right. So and then, of course, these are just little packs here that you can get. Um, now, it's not needed. Um, but if you're willing to, you know, drop some money on and help support the game, you're a bit willing to do that. Same thing here as well um, with these blueprints. These are legendary blueprints and you're able to choose one. Um, and the same goes for this one as well. You can get to choose your very own ECU. And now I recommend getting the Momentum 3, which is the best one for speed. Uh, the next one is Guardian 3 Durability. Uh, I mean, heck, all of these are really good. It just depends on your uh, playstyle, but also the type of vehicle and map you'll be playing on. Uh, and then this is just the special packages here. I have not gotten any of it. I'm sure you, once you spend ten dollars, you're able to get the Zen, the Disruptor, the Blade, Ether, Porsche, and the Zephyrus. Um, so or the Zephyrus. So uh, yeah. Anywho, let's move it on to the vehicles. These are the wraps for basically skins for your car that you can essentially get. And this is, I mean, they have amazing skins on here. Again, this is uh, not needed. It is essentially if you're really a collector, 
and also wanting you to flex and show off to people, then feel free to do so. Uh, same thing goes for the rims as well. This is, you know, ex very insanely expensive, especially for a, a car tire. Uh, and then, of course, you have the vehicles here that you can essentially buy. And some of them cost gift cards and some of them cost tokens. Um, and then, of course, this is your outfit page. You can get a lot of outfits here from your hair, from tops. Um, so, yeah, just a lot of things that you can get here. And, if, and they for sure rotate as well. Um, so definitely stick around and look at that and what they have here. Um, and of course, this is your wish shop. You're able to add any wish you want on here. Um, and essentially, it will rotate. So, um, but yeah, nonetheless. And then there's your fragment shop here as well that you can kind of get. Same goes for the wraps as well. And then this is where you can essentially top up and get a lot of tokens. Uh, moving forward to the event itself. This is the Excalibur gacha here as well. You need to um, keep getting these... Um, whatchamacallit, they are called the mystery boxes or mystery tickets, uh, yes, mystery box tickets, um, and so you can keep opening 10 and then it, you can guarantee a vehicle fragment, vehicle fragments, it can be used to get these, um, two skins here as well, so it costs two, uh, vehicle fragments to get this one, uh, and then the rest are the other fragments as well, uh, you can get blueprints, um, and as, of course the, um, parts as well, uh, now, from my understanding, it took me around, probably over 100 plus dollars in order to get the Excalibur itself. Um, as for the Fashion Festival, it's kind of random. I haven't really went all out on it, so I'll probably drop probably a, at least 20, 30, so it's not bad. But again, if, if you're a collector like myself, for sure, get it if you want it, and of course, support it. Supporting the game is, is really good too, to sustain the game in the long run. Um, however, there is also another event going on uh, that is the GTR. Um, the DGR essentially cost about 90 uh, I wouldn't say uh, okay that is for different actually so my bad on that guys so actually the McLaren um, is actually what is gonna cost you uh, around $90 to get I guess the McLaren is really really expensive um, as for the GTR points you essentially need to just top up around 15,000 tokens and you're able to essentially get all get this GTR right off the bat and now there is a GTR upgrade pack as well which I have maxed out which is gonna cost you another probably $100 to do to max it out as well um, and so, yeah, with that being said, guys, let's move right on to... The, and, of course, this event here, this is the Affinity Prototype, if you guys are having trouble with what this car is. Um, with that being said, let's move right on to the Rookie Program. This is the seven-day thing you can do to get missions and get a lot of goodies here as well, along with the uh, free vehicle, a Porsche, and the Day 6, you get a free ECU as well. Now, moving on, let's go right into the Workshop. So, for the Workshop, you have the ECU assembly, uh, the vehicle upgrade, and the Nitro. Um, so these are all the nitro configurations that you can use. Um, I recommend this one and or this one as well. Um, mainly this one if you have the nitro charge or nitro ECU chip um, that will allow you to to get the nitro because then it, you mainly you want to get the two by two um, pound just because it helps get your ultimate up faster. And then for your vehicle upgrade, it now it takes about six total blueprints in order to max out your vehicle. You need a, a blueprint at level seven. And then you need two here, and then you need uh, three to max it out, I believe. Um, so with that being said, um, that is all I have for vehicle upgrades. Now, as for the ECU assembly, this really depends on your um, kind of what you want to do. So this is where you, all you can see your chips here. Um, you can install. There's different one round. There's um, a diamond shaped one. There's a triangle shape, hexagon shape, uh, or V shape essentially. And then the, this is the core ECU. The core is basically very very good um in what it, it says um for certain vehicles um if you're a speedster you definitely go for the speed and there's different types of uh cores for your uh role so this one is helps with uh with the uh interceptors and then essentially the mainly the amplifier one helps with the um the support class um uh, i would i should say so moving forward um how do you get ecus or, or um well again ecus you go to the store supply chest and you can get lucky and get all these but there's also you get a ton of ecu packs as well um so moving forward to the friend system this is where you guys can search for your friend's name and or id um and then you can also see your essentially your recent matches what you've played with and you can essentially add them to there um but also i want to talk about the affinity levels as you can see it, as you keep playing with your friends you can get a lot of affinity points and this adds up and then as soon as you hit a certain affinity level you can get a lot of things and as you can see the ECU pack right here is really, really good. So keep playing with your friends. And then, of course, the last one, you get a permanent wing here, which is crazy. Um, 
And yeah, with that being said, that is kind of it for the uh, friend system. As you can see, you can see your requests here. Now, I am re only accepting people with Elite 2 and uh, or above ranked. So if you aren't past Elite 2, I, I apologize. I won't be adding you guys. <laughs> not that I'm not mean. Um, I just need to... I'm not sure what the max player is. Oh, yeah, there it is. 100. Well, I have a lot of friends. Anywho, um, if you click on this button right here... Uh, you can see a lot of the mainly a lot of good data here so you can see if you go to the ecu you're able to see all the core chips and what they do so yeah this is really nice um i mean just look at all this this is really cool like you can see every ecu in the game and what it does essentially so this is really really nice um with that being said let's move right on to the profile page so this is your profile you're able to you know this is really cool i i found that you're able to actually Go through and add pictures here and it will show up on the top of your profile which is really neat uh, i've never seen that any game do that before and that is really sick um moving forward there is the setting system you can copy name you can change your name you can change your avatar now changing your avatar does take a while because it has to go to review and then of course you go to your avatar frame signature um and then qr code for people to add you and then of course change your chat bubble edit the photo wall and that's basically what the top is is your photo wall um moving on forward to your records you can see your rank your stats how many games you played your win rate um even all seasons uh best records and then of course you can also see your vehicles um what you know the amount of games you played uh, the win rate for the for the specific vehicle along with your power or score within that vehicle and uh and then now moving on you can see your titles certain titles are uh hidden so you need to you know find like as for example this is a hidden title you need to finish sakura ridge in uh, under a minute and 28 seconds um and then of course moments moments is kind of like a little you know social media tab where you can interact with other players um kind of posting your own pictures and whatnot and obtain gifts likes comments and, and and stuff like that um and then for recent this is where you can see your basically your recent matches and then you can also report players from here as well um that is it for the prof profile page and now let's move on to the club so for the club, there's a, sto a club store, essentially. There's, this is only obtained by club medals, and you can only obtain club medals through th club races. Now, club races does not open until April 14th, and it lasts for about uh, roughly a week and a half, or maybe two weeks, uh, roughly. Uh, and basically, you can essentially get your team a Bugatti, <laughs> essentially. Um, but for vehicles, you're able to buy that through club funds. And that's essentially what you do and donate every single day. Um, so yeah, I have right now roughly masters and above i'll probably yeah kick the people who are inactive but you guys are able to join my, my uh club here is it, it is called division one or you can enter the uid there as well there the leaderboard is currently not working i think that's only available once the club race starts um so yeah that is going to be it for the club um now moving on to the Move on to the different types of races that you could do. You could do practice, you can do ranked, you can do duo rally. That's the current event that's going on right now. Career mode, time attack, license, and custom rooms. Now for the license, you can do each one. You start off with the C license, B license, A license, and S license. And I'll probably show you guys how to unlock any of these and how to pass this in a separate video. But this is essentially what you need to do in order to get some, some great rewards as well. Like this is an exclusive uh, vehicle that you can get by obtaining the S license. Um, and so as for my tips for you guys, the main thing is once you get into the game, make sure you guys do the practice uh, and level up your proficiency or essentially your vehicle to level seven if you want to unlock rank. If you're a competitive like myself, essentially keep playing practice mode with friends or whatever in order to get um, your proficiency level up. Um, and that's how you will be able to unlock rank right away. And so with that being said, guys, I will be showcasing you guys now the different types of uh nitrils or no drifts different types of drifts so let's go into a custom room here and i'll show you guys the different types of drifts um we'll just do this solo mode uh we'll do mm, we could just do this map here uh let's do yeah why not just show off the the <laughs> mclaren right um so it'll be showcased you guys the different types of drifts and uh, of course turbos as well super turbo is basically when your um the turbo is basically purple uh, and not blue and that's how um so that's what that is um all right here we go Alright, so the first drift, you, as you can see, is the inertia, inertia and the thrust. And this is what helps you essentially get your super turbo. As you can see, it's purple now. Then you, There we go, you spam that. And yeah, and then now moving on to the other drift. Um, the pen, I forgot what it's called, the pendulum drift or whatever. You hold the drift button, you hold one of them, and you 
you just essentially do this. This is the, yeah, the pendulum drift is what you call it. So it's really handy in certain situations. Uh, and then your other drift is essentially your brake drift. You can see the brake, you press it, and oh, never mind. Let me reset that. So if you go here and you're trying to turn a rough corner or a sharp turn, you press the brake. Oh, let's do it again here. It's not working out here. So once you press the brake, I think, uh, I think you got to drift a little bit. There we go. Once you press the brake, oh, maybe, whoa, maybe this car's not working. Why is the brake drift not working? <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's see. Let's try to show it off again. Cause I think, I don't know if it works for this vehicle, but essentially, okay. Apparently the brake drift is not working. Uh, question mark. Oh, there we go. All right. It showed a brake drift there, but I'm confused why it's not, it wasn't working for me here. Sorry guys, I chose a, a very bad car and a very bad map to showcase this brake drift here for you guys. But uh, essentially, that's what the brake drift is. You press the brake and you're able to drift uh, into corners. Um, so let's see here. Maybe if I have to press the drift. Uh, let's see. And then, well, apparently that's a very bad showcase of the brake drift, but you get the point. Uh, when you're about to turn a left corner or any sharp turn, just press the brake and essentially the animation will showcase and you're able to go through that corner very, very precisely. So that's actually what it is, the brake drifts, and that's kind of all the types of drifts I believe that is in, is in the game currently. If I've missed a drift, let me know in the comment section below. Um, and that's kind of it for this Ultimate Beginner's Guide. Uh, let me know if you guys, uh, if I am missing anything for this um guide as well guys um but with that being said this is gonna be it for the beginner's guide of course you can you know view all your backpacks your outfits um your vehicles here as well your items uh, your gifts um and of course some trial cars that you have here your ecus your vehicle upgrades all the parts that you have along with some blueprints um and then of course your pack this is where all your ecu packs will be and then of course the action is basically at the end of your matches when you win or lose mm, essentially win or at the start of the game this is what the dance or animation will be and then oh one more thing how to access your camera if you really want to take a photo simply just swipe your screen left or right and it should pop up the photo or the camera now the photo album is where you can see all your your saved um you know photos on here as well uh, then you can also go on photo trips, which basically allows you to go to a separate se separate map or a certain map, and you're able to just take pictures there um, and with different poses, camera angles, um, just really cool stuff that you could do um, within the camera setting here. And this is where you could get juicy thumbnails, juicy photos, wallpapers, and whatnot here as well. Uh, of course, with auto care, this is basically where you can get your paint. Uh, your decals, your wraps, your plates, your rims. This is where you can customize your car to a crisp basically and uh yeah so this is basically all that there is to the auto care feature you can get your stance your lights so your underglow lights essentially um and that that is kind of basically it and of course these are all your different separate cars that you could have then now to obtain the faraday the faraday is with the uh, proficiency uh road map here essentially so once you get 200 so the silver metal that is when you're able to unlock the faraday which is apparently a um a legendary uh interceptor so yeah with that being said guys if you guys have any other questions or comments concerns let me know down in the comments below with that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy this ultimate beginner's guide uh if you guys have any other questions again l leave them down below in the comments and I'll, I'll get to them as soon as i can and if i miss anything i will review it in the separate video as well um but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next ace racer video peace